Hey guys, Adam from Kids Workshop here today, and today I have a little tutorial for you. Today was my first day of 8th grade, I am in my last year of middle school now, and I'm going to show you how to get games on your Texas Instruments 84 calculator, or your TI-84 calculator, and yeah, so <laughs> I'm speaking very quietly, but this is not your standard issue TI-84, this is the TI-84 Plus CE. It has a slimmer design, better processing power instead of a rechargeable battery system. There's a plug so you can connect it to an outlet. All kinds of different things that make this better than the previous versions. And CE stands for color edition, so it's not black and white, it's color. So now you can play your games in color. And this is a standard issue calcul- well, the TI-84 is a standard issue calculator for 8th grade math, um, through college, I'm pretty sure. And this is the plus color edition, so not- it's- it will work with all the editions of the TI-84 and even with the TI-83, but if you do have something else, you're gonna have to bear with me, because I don't know- I don't think it's the same, so, but you can still follow this tutorial and maybe it will be the same, but, so yeah, I just opened this, again, it was my first day of school today, you can slip the color off, there's lots of information included in the box, but, you know, you got all your various buttons here, you know, all kinds of stuff that you're gonna need, so you, all you need to do is press the on button, and the screen lights up, and you're ready to go, you don't, have to navigate through anything. And today, we're gonna show you something really cool. That right there is Donkey Kong, the original game. Press enter, and now it is starting its little thing. I have Donkey Kong and Mario on here. Let's just get out of the game. There you go, we're out of the game there. And yeah, so that is your TI-84 calculator. Now, also included are various plugs, and this is the plug you're going to be needing for the tutorial. It has a USB on one end and a special adapter for the calculator on the other. All right here, so that's pretty awesome, and this is a tutorial on how to get games on this calculator. Now, I want to share this with you, but I don't want you to start playing games in school, and this is for anyone that watches this video, because this is a calculator, it's a learning device, and I'm not going to be playing these games at school, and you shouldn't, because learning is very important, and even though I'm making a tutorial, I don't think you should play these at school, do this on your own time, definitely not at school, school is important, and if you don't do school, you're going to get nowhere in life. You need school. It's, it's a law that you have to go to school for a reason. But, yeah. And if you're out of school and you have this calculator sitting around, then get some games. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool. And it's very fun to do out of school. So, let's get started. Alright, so we have our computer up here. Here's my laptop. This is what I use to download things because this is precious. This is a fast running computer used for gaming and that kind of thing. So I download all the crap on here. Um, so let's get our cable here. The USB end will go into one of the USB ports. Whoops, wrong way around there. On the side of the computer. And then your calculator will need to be on for this procedure, then the plug goes into that side of the calculator. So now, something should pop up saying that the TI-84 is connected to the laptop. And I do have a screen recorder, and I'm sorry, but that would record in a WEBM file, and that is not compatible with the video software I use to edit my videos. So this cannot mix with a screen recorder for now until I get something better so I'm just gonna be pointing the camera at the screen but it'll be on a tripod like this so hopefully it won't be too bad so now is the time to eject and unplug your TI-84 calculator 
and just it's still a blank screen and I'm going to show you how to get to these games. So it's actually more hard than you'd think it would be just to get to the game. So it's now that you dragged it into there, it will actually be on here through the connection through the cable. So you're going to click second, zero, and it brings up the catalog here. And you're going to scroll all the way down to ASM with the parentheses there where the little triangle is at now. Click enter then click the program button and this will come up so here are all the games we have so let's select number three pac-man so then this is what you have and click enter again and there you go pac-man so there is our game insert coin just enter and it shows you all the things so now you're ready to go and the ghosts are leaving the thing so I gotta play some games wow look at that this is very good gaming so you can see I was just playing a little bit and I should be grabbing those ghosts right now but unfortunately I'm going to have to exit the game because this tutorial is over I'm Adam that's all for today guys bye Alright, so whoops, hit the thing there. So this is the official Texas Instruments website, and here is their TI Connect software, and this is for the CE Color Edition, obviously. And so there's for Mac, which is Apple's computer, there's for Windows, and there's an EXE file and an MSI file. I use the EXE file, and not sure what the MSI file is, honestly. I, I like computers and things, but I don't know what that is. But I chose the right one, luckily, and we have the EXE. And you obviously have to click on that and start downloading it, go through that whole process. And I'm not going to walk you through it because it is already downloaded on there. But, on my computer here, but... If you don't know how to download something, I'm going to be honest, you have no place to be here. I think if you don't know how to download something, you should learn how to do that first, then come back to this tutorial. Alright, so once you load up your software, this is kind of what you're going to be looking at, these three things here. So you click on the Calculator Explorer, and it'll show you all the things you've got here. So obviously I do have Donkey Kong and Mario, which that weird Orium thing. So here you've got your connected calculator, which is obviously this one, standing right up on the printer there, which you can't see. But Oriam is what Mario is. It's just Mario backwards. They did that probably to avoid copyright or something. But now we get to do the fun part, picking out the games. So here is the website TI84 Calquiz, and there are downloads for all the games that they have. I'm on the most popular games page. And the link, again, is in the description. There's Pac-Man, Flappy Bird, Geometry Dash, Mario, Tetris, Portal, Donkey Kong, Calc Zoo Zap, Minesweeper, Snake, Oregon Trail, Snail Maze, 2048, and lots more. And that's just their popular games. But what do we want here? We'll do one more game on the calculator. I already have Donkey Kong and Mario. So we'll just get Pac-Man for this tutorial. Whoop, internet connection lost. Okay, a little error there. But let's get some Pac-Man. Just click download. And I'm sure it'll work this time. And it downloads it to your drive. And there's only one file this time. Usually there is a bunch of files. But if there is a bunch of files, you just want to click and drag and select them all. Then right click and download. And it should begin the download. There we go. If there were multiple files, it would say zipping file, whoop, zipping files. But there is not this time. There is things like keypad and that kind of stuff for the other games I downloaded. So you just gotta wait for that, then click, and it'll say opening. All right, so usually it has been opening in a window, but this is fine. You should be able to just drag it and then you have your TI Connect open, 
just drag it into this box where all the files on your calculator are and then you can either do it to all connected calculators if you have multiple calculators connected or just select them so this is the only one I have connected which is the one I am downloading it to then click send and it should load and then you will see it on the list somewhere there we go Pac-Man